listen, I, I try to be a smart brother. I think, you know, I try, but I tell you these, these, these impeachment hearings. I know some people are saying, "Oh man, it's exciting," and then and every now and then they'll get into something good because I because they'll get somebody who's uh, they'll get real aggressive, mm-hmm. and somebody will talk. And I've even heard somebody say, "God damn, can I finish my answer?" <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that? Uh, yes. What you said? I'm like, man, I, can, I, can I get an answer out? Even, I, I even heard like somebody overseeing it. Will you let them talk? Mm-hmm. I go to Tim with somebody and say, man, you heard it. Merch. Merch. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, hey, let me tell yeah, you about no, these no, slides. No. Right? We spent too long looking at the computer. I know. Buttons. I know. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> what do you mean, segment coming up? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we got new products in there. Got those slides that are in there. Christmas shirts are coming pretty soon. But in the meantime, check out our headline right there, which uh, we have these weird ass colors here. <laughs> but people have been buying these shirts and showing me pictures, good. and people look very good at them. I mean, you know, it's no classic black tee with the white logo, but those are. Very charming as well, along with the many other things that we have in DTMerch.com. So this whole thing started when it, it is alleged that when Trump made some calls to the uh, Ukraine president, he said, hey, you know, um, and while I'm talking to you, man, you know, that, that, that Biden boy is over there, right? <laughs> like Hunter, Hunter Biden, he's over there doing some shit, right? Well, I, I mean, yeah, it ain't really it's not really illegal or anything if I ask you to just check up on them, you know, see. I don't think he asked that part. <laughs> see, see what's going on. He's like, yeah, I got this aid package that, um, that we're supposed to give you. If you could do me a favor, I could get that over to you. Right yeah, now. yeah, exactly. So, and, But, yeah, if you, could, if you could investigate people I don't like. Yeah, and what it is is that Hunter Biden, uh, it, it's Joe Biden's son, is in, he was involved with some uh, Ukrainian gas company over there. It has something to do with uh, – uh, the, the, uh, their uh, not their staff, but it was it was somebody who was part of their uh, 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 what do you would you call it? Like um, you have uh, not staff because those are the people that work there, but the heads that all get together. The uh, board, directors. board directors, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thank I'm you. Like, I'm like, God damn, board of directors! <laughs> I would have come in, but I was like, you're not giving me enough. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you just you probably knew too. You just no, like no, I did not know. Watch this motherfucker dangle. <laughs> Martin, help me! <laughs> I can't reach you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no board of directors. Somebody on the board of directors uh, that that they they feel like they Hunter Biden was uh, uh, played a part in getting rid of somebody yeah, on that board. Somebody who was it's supposedly corrupt anyway. Yeah, that a lot of people wanted to get rid of. It was our again. This is not a political thing. It, it was already said that. We didn't like this dude anyway. Yeah. He was already doing some dirt, and they were gonna get rid of him. But uh, now the debate is: was it is it right to have uh, to to ask for a favor that in that f- of a president of another country, where that favor is investigate a political opponent? Right, especially when you're you know you're withholding money that you're supposed to give them. I mean, yeah. it's, it's extortion at that point. Yeah, and I do like I said, I do try to catch the highlights of of. Uh, of this of, of of the impeachment process, and you know when I'm when when I'm looking at it, because a lot of people when they uh, when they look at the uh, impeachment process, they have some misunderstandings. You know, I I too have some uh, I have some misunderstandings about the about the whole thing. You know how this works. You know, uh, uh, like I said <laughs> l- l- last night, last night I thought that uh, I thought that there were certain. I've been talking this for a while. I was like, "What is so? What happens with the impeachment process? What is the uh, what is the end goal for an, for uh, somebody that's becoming impeached? Because and where do the peaches come in? <laughs> I know. I like the way like, just, I like the way he's just like, God damn. That's not even. That's not even. That's not even a pun. <laughs> You know what? I was totally ready to pick up the hat until Dimitri laughed. I'm like, no, hey, Dimitri, no, no. you shut the f- up, man. I like Dimitri, you point him up. Like everybody, everybody in the room, like, like my man over there, he's like, he's like, man, I can't help you, man. Like, ooh, shit. But, but Dimitri, like, yes, my man. <laughs> no, you ain't no good man. 
That's the kind of shit when you sit, when your six year old says, he's like, shut the f up. <laughs> shit, I was saving this for the Trump discussion, but I'm putting this shit, I'm putting you in here. Get the f out of here with that. <laughs> But the impeachment process, man. So you know <laughs> what happens with it when when it, when you're trying to when you're trying to get somebody impeached, but it doesn't remove them from office, and it doesn't keep them from going for a second term. So what are we doing this for? So I, today, what I did was I put out, and, and there are some countries where you, you go on Wikipedia and they'll tell you like impeachment means yeah, get the f out. Mm -hmm. You know, when, once you're impeached, you're gone. But with uh, with this process here in America, it is, uh, from what I understand, being that it's not criminal uh, or a criminal case, you know, you don't, you, they're not pulled out. So, you know, uh, I went today and asked Facebook. I said, Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I went in and, and I said, Hey, I don't understand the process. These things I know, can you help me fill in the blanks? Surprisingly, they didn't go crazy. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, they said, Well, I did get a grasp of what was happening. And they filled in just a few blanks. And I want to thank you, Facebook, for helping us out with that. And all the Toshis out there that helped out with that. Uh, as I said, you know, one of the things that they run the risk with, uh, especially the, the Democrats who are, who are heading up this, in, this, this impeachment investigation and process, is that they run the risk of actually making Trump stronger. Sure. For one... As I said, it, it, it will make his base, his cult, or whatever you want, his supporters, whatever you want to call them, it'll make them more defensive and make them support him more. And if there's, if we can't see what will happen at the end of the process where, uh, you know, we don't, we, if, you know, if, uh, uh, if, if he can't be removed, then why are we taking up all of this time and all these resources to do this? It could actually make the public a little more uh, uh, confident, or, I'm sorry, a little bit less confident in the in the Democrats, mm -hmm. this is this is not a criminal case. It is, it, it, you know, this is not a legal case. This is uh, this is uh, this is political. It's strictly political, which means that when and Dimitri, come on up, man, okay. and don't come and put them funny yet funny ass the jokes and shit. No, don't come no, no, with any puns. And just gonna play it. Straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just gonna play. Give it you one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, go for it. So, uh, so this is not. Again, this is not legal. This is not a criminal case of uh, you know in court. This is something that is strictly political, and what that means is is that they cannot bring the rules of court into this political arena here. Mm. But what they're doing right now, uh, am I right? The the ultimate penalty of this process is removal of office from yeah. office. So, nor does there have to be a crime uh, committed here for them to even want to impeach Bill Clinton. He was impeached. You know, he didn't get. Pulled out of office, but he was impeached. And what looks and what he did with Monica Lewinsky in the in, in the Oval Office, uh, who knows wherever other places, uh, it was kind of freaky. It was it was nasty, <laughs> you know. And yeah, it was kind of shady considering that he was he, that he was uh, that he was married. Shit, he should you should have known something wrong when he had this guy in the office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that Mark Marin? <laughs> <laughs> that's Groucho Marx. <laughs> <laughs> You know this dude was a freak. He's like, yeah, I hear him all the time. <laughs> but yeah, you know what he did? Uh, yeah, it was wrong. But was it illegal? No. Kennedy, no telling how many people Kennedy f in the White House. Sure. You know that. So that was not that was not wrong. But uh, people felt like he was not morally fit to uh, some people. Not all people. Some people felt he was not morally fit to be in the White House. Well, he he lied to the investigators. And yeah. and then and then the criminal part of it is that they say that uh, he committed perjury. Right. And so you know. Uh, the, the Constitution has three categories for impeachable offenses. It's treason, bribery, and high crimes and misdemeanors, which is kind of the catch-all. Mm -hmm. So they, the, the current strategy is bribery. They, the Ukrainian aid package, is in exchange for a quid pro quo and investigation, that can be seen as bribery. But if that fails, they could always try high crimes and misdemeanors because it's a catch-all. Yeah. Yeah. But if right now, it's still not they're not not, not holding like a, a, a criminal case no, or, a, no. or like a again a legal court case. No, it's strictly political to get the guy out. Now, uh, if impeached by Congress, if he does get impeached, what they can do is they can move it to the Senate, and at that point, if the uh, if the Senate goes through with the impeachment, then at uh, that is when Trump can be removed. 
And that was the that was one of the processes that they got Nixon on. Nixon was going to probably be impeached when it got to the Senate, and that is why he was removed. Or he did not, not removed. Out. That's why he uh, resigned from uh, from his position as president. Yes, I have never been a quitter. To Shop leave today. office before my term is completed is abhorrent to every instinct in my body. When he he had the president has a liaison office between both houses of Congress, and when the liaison office is telling him that the Senate was ready to remove him from office, that's when he's like, "Well, it's been real, but gotta go, deuces, <laughs> <laughs> can't catch me, <laughs> still got my money, bitch." But yeah, so that is how they're going to get Nixon, and that's probably what they're looking at right now uh, to get him in the Senate. But the only thing is, is that. The Senate is the, the majority ruled by the, the, the GOP. The, 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 yeah, the GOP, 53, the Republicans. 53 Republicans, 45 Democrats, and two independents. So you, I think I heard you got to get 25, at least 25 Republicans to change their position on Trump. And that is the only way that Trump can be removed from office. And if that's, and, and you know what, and, and who knows? If that is the case, then at that point, then that's when you get Vice President Pence. To come in and be president, to, to be president, uh, if Trump is removed, so it's just and, a no-win situation. Yeah, and some people are even saying that well, he's got some dirt on him too. And if that's the case, if you want to try to get get him too, then the process has to start all over again. Mm-hmm. So this is where we get to the question of what happens at this point. You know, like you were saying, Martin, it looks like a no-win for anybody because if uh, Pence comes in, and then that is somebody they really don't like. But then you know that they, they probably could figure like, all right, we could probably work with this guy a little bit better. You know, mm-hmm. you know Trump mm-hmm. is just out of his goddamn mind. Um, the looks like it's not going to happen if it goes to Senate that he gets removed. Right. So at that point, what is the goal here? And I don't know what it is. You know, I, I, I wrote some down to try to remind myself. The easiest answer is they just want to. F- Trump, <laughs> you know, I guess I don't know, or you know, or maybe I'm gonna list these things down, and you guys tell me uh, some other things that you're thinking, or what you think about these things. Uh, maybe they hope that they can prove so much corruption on Trump that maybe they can even turn some of these Republicans around because it cannot be denied how corrupt and criminal he is. Uh, or they make Trump look so bad that voters lose faith in him. Or they don't impeach, but they do find enough shady and criminal activity on him that that could follow up in some kind of legal case when it's all done i you know i these are just some ideas that i wrote down i don't know mm-hmm. but i'm trying to figure out what, what what's the point at this you know at this well at this i mean you, if you look at it strategy wise it seems like uh, why why even bother doing this mm-hmm. but, but they've even said hey we know that this could blow back on us but what he's yeah. done is wrong and you don't just Let's sweep that under the rug and act like it didn't happen. Yeah, there's supposed, supposed to be consequences for this, whether it's consequences that have collateral damage or not. He cannot be allowed to just do this. Yeah, and walk away from it. I think that the deeper game, everything you said, is a consideration that is valid and possible. Mm-hmm. I think one of the deeper considerations is the fate of the Senate. Uh, look, I'm going to come out and say it right now, I'm a Democrat because you know I'm a black person with skin in the game, um, and I think that the Senate is the greater prize out of all three of the chambers because unfortunately we're going to have quite a few Supreme Court justices drop dead <laughs> within the next four years. Right, right. right. And we we just heard Ruth Bader Ginsburg just got out of the hospital for a fever, and the Senate confirms justices. Mm-hmm. Let's say that you're a Republican senator in a in a state like Arizona, which is increasingly purple. Yeah. If you vote against impeachment, that could lead a bunch of people who acknowledge the rule of law to be correct, saying, hey, that was wrong what he did, and you support him. You let him get away with it. That can turn voters against you, and it gives the Democrats some hope of winning the Senate back. Arguably, I would arguably give up the Senate in exchange for the White House. If Donald Trump wins the presidency, I would prefer the Senate go Democratic. That's good enough for me. So there's that political that, move right there's there. That, there's that strategy right there. Okay. What about you, Chad? I mean, we don't have to stay on this subject long. I know you guys are here to laugh. You know, as I said, admitted to you right when I was talking about this, I can't even listen to the hearings that much because they're kind of dry to me, so I'm not trying to bore you guys right now, but I did want to put that out there for people who don't understand. Uh, Malcolm, I'm for Trump getting out of office, but I hope Democrats 
no beating him at the polls is the best way. No, that's absolutely correct. Like that's there, Marcus says that there's no chance of removal from office, but weakening him. If, if, if there are political orphans out there who used to be Republicans, who used to be Democrats, who find themselves like unrepresented by anyone, like okay. if they can see, if they see this process and go, this is this is disgusting, and I will vote for anyone who isn't Donald Trump. That could be enough to get a, the Democratic candidate over the hump. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's what I was saying. That's one of the things where you can make people lose confidence in him. Absolutely. Yeah, just, just, just you know, taint his image so bad. Uh, Don, you have something you want to add? No, I'm, just, I'm a Republican. Oh, come on. You can. Uh, well, no, so I people can. Oh, you don't. <laughs> okay, well, I can't. Okay, so are you, is, it, is it long what you're saying? No. no okay. Just, we just said Republican. I just, just raised my hand because I am a Republican. I hate this man. Okay, so Don says I'm Republican and I can't stand Trump. So. There's a political orphan right there. There you he go. Has, he has no party for it. There's no party for Don right now. So you have a Republican right there, so it could again. I'm, again, I'm not making this to a, a, a you know a political debate, but that that is an example of what you're saying right there. Absolutely. That you have somebody who is a Republican, and even they're saying I can't do this, you yeah. know, and and this is not helping what's happening. And with you're this you're registered in Texas. Well, yeah, Texas turns increasingly purple every time. I mean, Ted Cruz almost lost because he's Ted Cruz, but <laughs> every now and again, you watch the you watch Texas turn a little more purple every election yeah. cycle. So. Yeah, 